backstage here in Phoenix, I am joined by a victorious Nina Ansaroff, who just submitted Jocelyn Jones Lieberger in the third round. You just told me you just did it. Finally, you got your first UFC victory. How do you feel? Is there a weight off your shoulders? Man, it's a huge weight off my shoulders. You know, everyone believes in me and is behind me so much, and it, it aggravates me that I'm not be able to let them say I told you so. You know, it, it's finally great to be here, be able to talk to you, get an interview after. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep doing it just for that. It's fun. Oh no, that's awesome. You really showed what a well-rounded mixed martial artist you are. What in the time off allowed you to come back and show off all of those skills so brilliantly? You know, in the year, it's like it was Amanda's year. So everything was watching her, preparing her, being different opponents for her as her training partner helped me to become like, that. I had no choice. If I didn't, you know, she, she hits hard, you know? So, you know, I stayed training, I stayed keeping it together. I had a lot of stress at home and just finally felt good to let it all out and get a finish, man. And she had the hometown crowd behind her, but at the end, you, you sort of swayed them. They were Team Nina by the end of this. You know, going into a situation where you know that she's going to be the favorite, is that almost easier? You don't, you feel like there's no pressure here for you? You know, I was so much concerned about getting this win that I didn't really hear any noise around me this time. You know, I was so focused. I needed this win. I knew, you know, I'm coming off of two very close losses. I know what three does to you. And I knew it was her hometown. I knew she had her family here and everything. But my family's here too, and it means the same to me as it does to her. It's just a building, you know. What surprised you about Jocelyn? Because it looked like several times throughout the fight, you were close to finishing. It took that third round for you to finally get her to tap. But what do you think about her toughness in there? I think she's super, I knew she was super tough coming in. You know, I, I had a feeling I was going to be able to finish her, but I thought maybe, you know, late in the first, second round. You know, she surprised me. She's super tough, and um, I mean, I'm glad I finally got it in the third. You said 2016 was Amanda's year. What is 2017 for you? It's our year, mine and Amanda's year. Finally, I can say that feels great. Yeah. <laughs> so what's the plan? You want to take some time off? You want to get right back in there? Are you injury free? I'm injury free. I hurt my foot a little bit, um, but I'm going to go with Amanda to do her part of her victory tour. Take about a month off and then get back in there. I want to keep going. I want to keep the momentum going. We want to keep watching. Congratulations so on much. an amazing performance. Great finally Thanks. talking. Oh, Nina, you're the best.